The Steam Deck has been making rounds online for the past couple of months, and I still want to buy one for myself, but at this stage, I'm probably just going to wait for a Gen 2, because I don't want to be on a waiting list for an entire year, and then have a Gen 2 suddenly be announced. But the launch does seem like it's been quite successful, even though we don't have, you know, exact sales figures. It seems like a lot of people really like the device, and have been making a lot of really positive changes to the Linux gaming world. But even though it's been successful, it's not been without its flaws. One of those flaws being discovered by this Twitter user about a new game that was released. Recently released Demon Gaze Extra game seems to be configured to block Steam Deck downloads. I thought it was Valve's stance that things like this weren't allowed. It works fine if you download on desktop and then transfer files, so the reason the devs would do that elude me, with this option right here being selected where it says Steam Deck 0. The fact that the game still played on the device if you got the data onto it rightly confused people, especially the Valve saying that doing this from the developer side just wasn't going to be possible, and they want to keep this being an open platform that is effectively just a computer in a handheld format. Now, when you write code and you test it behind closed doors, you're going to have your test suite, you're going to try different things to make things break. But when you release something to the public, someone out there is going to break it in some other way. So don't assign malice where it can easily just be a mistake, which is what this right here was. Prior to the launch of the Steam Deck, Valve added in a really useful feature for developers. That feature was being able to tag contents, depots, being able to tag things you can download on Steam as being relevant only for Steam Deck customers. So in the Steamworks panel, what this option is supposed to mean is zero is available for every user, and then one is Steam Deck only. This option is called the platform option. Well, why would you want to do that? Why would you want to make it so certain things can only be downloaded on the Steam Deck? Well, let's say you have a game that has been optimized for the Steam Deck. Let's say it has a set of custom graphics options, has a set of like custom bindings, things like that, but they don't really make any sense on a desktop system. It's specifically tuned with the Steam Deck in mind. Well, you might as well just make that config file only available on the Steam Deck. Or how about this? How about some console style optimization? Because we know exactly what hardware is going to be in the Steam Deck, we can do things like pre-compile the shaders and then ship those pre-compiled shaders along to the Steam Deck users. This doesn't make any sense for desktop users. Their hardware is way too varying to do it for every single hardware configuration. But when you know what they're using, it's pretty trivial. And Valve has this Steam Deck verification program where, depending on what the game is, maybe it needs some of those custom files to actually be a verified game. Maybe the out-of-the-box configuration just doesn't make any sense for the Steam Deck. It defaults to ultra graphics and runs at like 3 FPS. That obviously isn't playable. But with these custom configs and these custom shaders, it might just bump it up in the ratings. Or maybe you have a game where you want to give out a custom skin to anybody that is playing on the Steam Deck. Now, that's not exactly the intended use case, but I could see it used like that. I'm not sure if it's against the Steam TOS, though. It's not intended to be used for anything related to game binaries and locking down what platforms games can be played on. But you might have noticed earlier that one meant Steam Deck only and zero meant all. So what in the world is happening here? Well, it turns out the Valve didn't test their code as much as they thought they did. So due to a technical issue, which Valve didn't make the exact cause public, but it does sound like someone was just like sleepy when they were writing the check, it had basically the opposite effect in some cases, where instead of installing on everything, it installed on everything that wasn't a Steam Deck. But due to this just being an unintentional download block, not an actual block to stop you playing it on the hardware, Steam doesn't check where the data actually came from. So if you go and take that data from a computer and then put it onto the Steam Deck, Steam doesn't really care what's going on. All it knows is the data is there and that's fine. So from then, you can just play the game like you'd expect to be able to. Valve knew straight away this was terrible PR and then worked very quickly to make sure that as a developer, you are no longer able to set this state. However, that doesn't actually fully address the problem because any of the games that were affected by the issue 
are still going to be affected. So any of the games that were using this setting are now being contacted by Valve and they're going to make sure that updates get pushed to make sure everything's working like it should be working. But seeing as though this was caught fairly early and not a couple of years into the Steam Deck's life cycle, it's not like, you know, hundreds and hundreds of games have launched with this exact same problem. The list is relatively short, so Valve is going to be contacting all of those developer partners and making sure that updates get pushed for their games to make sure everything's working like it should be on the Steam Deck. So cleanup is going to take a little bit of time, but it's not going to be some massive undertaking that takes months and months to address. If you go and read the Steam Deck blog, you can see that Valve clearly believes in the Steam Deck, and they're continuously looking for ways to improve the device. So if you have a Steam Deck, what I encourage you to do is if you find some problem, whether it's with how games are distributed, whether it's with the fan profile, whether it's anything else with the device, go and post on the Steam Deck forums and hopefully Valve can address it. If it's not something that can be addressed in software, then hopefully in a Gen 2 version of the device, when it's a much more mature handheld PC, it is considerably better. And when more of the problems get ironed out, I will probably buy one then. So basically all you guys that have a Steam Deck now, are my free beta testers. But let me know your thoughts down below. Were you affected by this problem or did you not even realize it was happening? I would love to know. So if you like this video, I'm gonna go and like the video. And if you really like the video and you wanna become one of these amazing people over here, go check out my Patreon, subscribe, it's only Vero Pay linked in the description down below. I've got a podcast called Tech Over Tea available basically anywhere. I've got a gaming channel called Brody Robson Plays. That's gonna be it for me and I'm out.